confronted with a phrase like the Lord is my light and my salvation we make choices where does the accent lie what I want you to try and you're going to just get up and you're not going to care about anyone else because you're going to be all speaking at different times it will be a battle <laughs> I want you to try it putting the emphasis on that word then I want you to try it putting the emphasis on that word then I want you to try it putting it on that word then try it putting on that word. Try it on that word, that word, and that word. And listen to what is happening. And that different meaning will exist every time you say it. Okay, stand up, clap, speak, talk. Get that anyone else. Emphasis on Lord, and it's quite different. The Lord is my life and my salvation. That is saying something different to say, the Lord is my life and my salvation. We make a choice, and I don't care which choice you make, obviously. And no one's going to tell you which choice to make except yourself, in your own preparation and prayer. And even when you get up there at the time, what makes us suddenly go, the Lord is my life and my salvation, or whatever you want to do. But each one is different. And that's the point I think that Bernard's making in terms of our preparation. We make those choices. And maybe we prepare with a pencil. And punctuation can be our friend, but it can also be our enemy. And the typography can often be our enemy. Because you look at that Exodus that was reading, that reading you had at Exodus, your, your eye and your mind almost stopped at the end of the line, but it shouldn't. Yeah. And so the, there's just that, all that preparation required. Right, so let's put something practical together. Let's create ourselves a little church. So grab your chair, turn it around, face this way, and create an aisle down the middle. <laughs> we will, do the whole bit. <laughs> right, so we've spoken and, been, and listened to some very inspirational words. There's no question about that. Now, they're just in terms of a purely preparation idea. But in the practical sense, the hand goes up and says, I feel like a piece of rag this morning, and I don't. I mean, what, what, the reality and that what we've heard don't necessarily match. So let's just go through a few, th a few things, and we want to contribute. Please contribute. Please tell me what you do in your area, what ideas you would have for your area that may or may not exist yet. Yeah, and Joanne's going to lead us through. Well, she needs an introduction too. She does. Okay. We have one more introduction, and then we'll um, we'll take this session on. Joanne Gomez is a parishioner from Our Lady of the Rosary Parish in Waikato. Joanne um, completed the three-year distance learning course Walk by Faith through the Wellington Archdiocese in 2006. And as part of this course, Joanne designed and delivered a four-week course for the readers in her parish on proclamation of the word. Her work on this program was the seed from which this workshop initially developed. She is a member of the Archdiocese and Pastoral Council and a member of her parish liturgy committee. And her message to you today is that good ministry is humble, but never timid or lukewarm. Joanne. <laughs> Right, so we will work in tandem, because we're going to make this practical. I'm sorry this isn't quite right as a church, because there's far too many people at the front. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but we just don't have room to push everyone to the back. <laughs> and that's the reality. So here we are, on a Sunday, all set up with our church. And so it starts. Okay? 
But we, we, you know, we've met, we've prepared. We've done everything Bernard said. We've, put, we've bought three or four of James's books. We even got him to sign them for us. <laughs> these, these are collector's items. We put them on trade me and they haven't gone yet. So you've still got them. All right? Okay, this, this is, we've done everything. And this is, this is the reality we suddenly come to. And I know in our church in Island Bay, sometimes, can you just all start tapping your feet like that? When it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> when it's raining, all right? When, and you, you probably all have this reality. And it's, it's such a different feel to what we're feeling at the moment. We, we're among people who are of a like mind, and all are here to go, yes, we are the people who speak. I was astounded when questions were asked. And comments were made, they've got microphones. <laughs> you know what I mean? That clarity of hearing people speak. In a space like this, you're normally, in, a, in many circumstances, you're going, what did they say? What did they say? <laughs> but no, we are the people here who have these tools. We have, a, we, we do this because we know somewhere that we have been trained or people have said, you can be heard. That's what we're doing. So what we're hearing, what the reality is here is different to our Sunday. And we do feel different ways. So how do we go about this? What do we, what do, we do, Joanne? Well, on a Sunday... You've come prepared, you've done your study, you're at church 10 minutes beforehand to have a look at the lectionary because what is in the lectionary and how it's set out is different from what you have prepared at home. Keeps it nodding? Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's good. So, 10 right, so minutes, you, we need a priest. You need a priest. We need two altar servers. Two altar servers. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, we can get that. <laughs> we can grab a priest. You look very priestly, Terry. Come up here for a moment. <laughs> Fantastic. They gathered down the back, do they? Okay, we've got a priest here. Right. Who has never, ever been an altar server? And all that come in your chance. Come on up. It's fantastic, honestly. Come on up. Not on the altar. No, no, that's good. You, you've been out all the service, right? Okay. Right. Okay. The of the word. Okay, we need to get out all the service right first. Okay. Right. Okay, right. You got the cross? You got the candle? Okay. You got the candle there? Yes, she did. All right. Okay. And your little cassocks are far too short. Far too long, Or too long. Okay. So what you've got to do when you get up there is trip on the bottom step, all right? No problem. Absolutely. What else do we have? All right, we'll start with ministers of the Eucharist. Oh, the ministers of the Eucharist. Okay. Right. Who are the ministers of the Eucharist? Damien, you've been a minister of the Eucharist? Come on up there. You can be a minister of the Eucharist. Okay, we'll just have one minister of the Eucharist. You go back there. And now what? Proclaimer. The proclaimer of the word. Right, we need a proclaimer of the word. What the lectionary? We have our lectionary. So, who's going to be our proclaimer of the word? Would you want to be a proclaimer of the word for us? Thank you very much. That's pretty heavy. Mm. Now, what order do you suggest them to be in? Walter service first. Walter service first. And a little chat with a little lady with a cross. Okay, and we've got a server with a candle. Now the proclaimer of the word. Now the proclaimer of the word. Right. Eucharistic minister? Yes. Yeah. Right. And a proclaimer of the word. How do you want the proclaimer of the word to be holding the right. lectionary? Holding the lectionary with the, um, the binding to the right, both hands a few inches away from your chest, not held up like a banner. It's not up here. Why? 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 Brian's seen it done in Rome. <laughs> Right, see, these are the practical things. Okay, so what works for you? Okay, so not up here. Right, so the recommendation is not up here. You know, we, can, we can talk about this, okay? And yes? Yes, right. No, no, no. I'm sorry, first of all, I apologise for my business. Now, why did you carry? We've got quite a short aisle. So the altar servers know, and they do, they're very good, to wait for the first verse of the hymn to finish before they proceed. In your churches, they may have longer aisles and you should start straight away. Who knows? But we will say that this is a short aisle. The music's playing, the first verse is over, altar servers proceed.